Hi, this is Jonathan Rosen, head of Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Tarot and Psychology Post of Parshat Bamitva is going to discuss defining adulthood. In this week's Parsha, we read about the census that was taken for the Kayanim, which says that any person that had reached the age of 30 then qualified to be able to serve in the and to perform the roles and duties in the of the, of the Kahuna. In, in performing the duties in the Ahon Mayud, which means that we see that this age of 30 was a cutoff point to say that a person had reached the age where they now qualify to serve and to perform the duties, that they had reached an age which means that they, it defines them as having the ability and the competency, the level of responsibility. The Ibn Ezra relates it to, to physical strength. This age is now, in a sense, in the context of the Kahuna and the duties of the Kahuna, was reaching a level of adulthood, which may, which means that they have reached a level, the required level and the required age to be seen as someone who qualifies to serve in the kahuna. So if we look at this, this is in, this is in the, the, the context of kahuna and the role of the kahuna as, as 30 as being this sort of arbitrary cutoff point to demark between someone who is below a certain age or to reach a certain age where they qualify and they're seen as being competent and being able to, 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 to serve in a certain role. And if we look at it in a, in a halachic perspective, we know that adulthood, from a, in, in the sense of, of Torah observance and, and mitzvahs, we know that there's a bar and bat mitzvah of 12 and 13 for a boy and a girl, which is seen as the, the cutoff point again of reaching adulthood, where they now are seen as being as qualified and being competent and reaching a certain level of responsibility and co- a cognitive level as well to perform Torah and mitzvahs. In the sense, in, in, in the Gemara, in Yuma, it discusses the context of fasting on Yom Kippur, which gives a number of different ages, how we train children in order to be able to fast, where we start at seven or eight years old, or nine or ten, and perhaps as they do a bonan obligation at eleven or twelve, but the, the Gemara says that there is a general agreement that at twelve and thirteen there is a din min Torah. There's an obligation from the Torah to now fast on Yom Kippur. So we see that this at this level, this age of twelve or thirteen, this is the cutoff point where a boy and a girl reach this level of adulthood, and we define them as being as an adulthood in the context of Torah and mitzvahs, to have the obligation to qualify to have the competency and the level of responsibility and, and understanding of what it means to keep Torah and mitzvahs. And if we develop this further from a psychological perspective of how we define adulthood in different contexts, and from a, a secular law, 18 is often used as the cutoff point at 18 years old, where we view a person as now having, we define them as being an adult. They have reached the level of adulthood. And this, is kind of, this has ramifications on a, from a legal, social, educational context as well, that we view the person now as not being a child, but rather define them as being an adult. At 18 years old, they have entered the world like, and, and they are viewed in, like any other adult as well. But the psychology and in particular research in neuroscience has looked at the development of the brain and sees how the brain continues to develop. There's a certain level of plasticity still within the development and the structure of the brain that continues beyond 18 years old. And in fact, it goes on into a person's 30s. That to view a person at 18 years old as being an adult, in a sense from the research, is, is unfair and incorrect because their brain is still developing and it's, their brain is not the same as a person who has reached their 30s, 40s, 50s and actually is defined as being an adult. If we look at the neuroscience and the, the also from a psychological perspective, the emotional level of, of understanding and processing, there is a difference between an 18-year-old and this and the, the window of, that they are in of, of development which is an ongoing process, and the, 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 the level, I guess, of someone who is a, defined as being an adult within the 30s and 40s, their brain development has been crystallized and it's, it's more stable, and therefore the comparison and, and to define as someone who's 18 years old as being similar to someone in their 30s, 40s, and 15s is perhaps an incorrect and unfair comparison and an unfair arbitrary cutoff point to judge them as being an adult because their brain is continuing to develop and as the research has shown as well, this, this continuous process of developing at 18 years old can lead to the development of certain mental health problems. It also influences a person, an 18 year old or a teenagers, it, it influences on, on their behavior as well, which is different to the behavior and the understanding and the processing of a fully developed brain in, in adulthood as well beyond the age of 18, someone who's 30s and 40s. And the research has also shown in the context of what it means 
for a, for a person who is still developing, their brain is still developing, it looks at children who leave the home early. There can be a number of different reasons why a child or a teenager or a child would leave early. But the reason is looking at this, this, this definition of a, ch a young person leaves, house, leaves their home early and starts to live independently. There is a relationship, an association between this leaving home early and the development of juvenile delinquency. If we see this, we understand this continuous process of the brain developing and how it influences a person's behavior. And also this, this necessity to, be, to live independently and to be able to function independently when they are not necessarily ready to do so. We can understand, therefore, how this can lead to juvenile delinquency, can lead to certain behaviors and to certain difficulties and challenges. Therefore, it's critical to understand this process and this stage in a person's life of 18 years old and what it actually means and to fine-tune its definition. And what, is, what has emerged from the research is that rather than saying that there is this cutoff point at 18 years old of adulthood, rather there's this phrase, this term of emerging adulthood that looks at this window from 18 to 30 years old and says that it's an ongoing gradual process of leaving childhood, entering into adolescence, and moving gradually towards adulthood. It's not a sudden moment, a cut-off arbitrary point where we demark someone going from childhood and adolescence and becoming an adult, but rather it's a gradual process of moving into adulthood. And if the person themselves, the child themselves, and society in general is able to appreciate and have a, a greater sensitivity towards this idea, this concept of an emerging adulthood, it will help the person to go through this process in a healthy way to gradually develop into a healthy, successful adult. Have a great Shabbos and keep well.